burners are really trying to steal the show. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a full gram get ready with me. So I posted a um, photo a couple of weeks ago now, which was literally the last weekend before lockdown, um, where Josh and I went on a date night on the Sunday night, um, because obviously it was announced on the sun Saturday night that we were going to go into lockdown on the Thursday and he was working nights all of that week. So we couldn't see each other um, literally from the Sunday night. So we decided to go for a really nice dinner on the Sunday night where I did this makeup look and I put my extensions in and curled my hair so had a lot of messages on Instagram when I posted a photo of that saying oh my god please can you do a get ready of us or get ready of me sorry and can you like you know do a video on your extensions and your makeup so that's what I'm doing today I did do a poll over on Instagram whether you guys wanted to see this or the natural makeup look first and you all voted for the natural makeup look but it was a really 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 close poll so I decided to do this one quite soon after so I hope you do enjoy it um, and obviously see me create this look um, but yeah I hope you enjoy the video and let's get on with it Okay, so I've done my left eye and my eyebrows off camera um, just because I wanted to kind of figure out what I was going to do with my eye makeup. Um, I did a little poll over on my Instagram for whether you wanted to see neutral makeup or a bright look and a lot of you, well majority of you voted for neutral. Let me just get it up so I can tell you literally how much. Yes, yeah, 62% of you said neutral and 38% said bright um, so I'm going with the neutral look which is fine because that's what I did when I actually posted the photo that this whole get ready of me was based around so I've done my eyeshadow base already which is the P. Louise base in the shade 3 I've used this for literally years now ever since it came out it's so good um, I just changed the colour the shade of it rather depending on how tanned I am um, and I just blended that in using a fluffy morphe brush i used to use like a flat brush and pat it on like she um tells you to do when this came out but recently i've just been blending it in with like a fluffy brush and it actually works a bit better for me so i've just been doing that i'm just gonna go over it again because it's been a while since i put it on um and then i'm going in with i've been using the eym fiery matte palette from beauty bay and then also i was using the Anastasia Soft Glam, it's such a beautiful palette. I used this on one of my friends when she got married. Um, oh my God, it's so stunning. So I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange, which is this shade here. And I'm just kind of winging it out a little bit and then taking that through my crease. Um, and I use the Peaches and Cream PC30 brush to do this with. I actually love these brushes for eyeshadow. I just think they work really well. My left eyeliner went a little bit thicker than I wanted to, so I'm going to have to work with that, but that's okay. So I'm just going to jump in with that. I haven't done like my underneath my eye or the inner corners or anything yet, because I do that when I've done my concealer and stuff. I also am not going to do my lashes till I've done my hair, so it's going to be a little bit like back and forth, but that's fine. So I firstly just start off by taking it and winging it out a bit. And I'm keeping this quite messy because I quite like that. smoothie i was gonna have like a glass of wine while i was doing this but it's literally half past three on a saturday afternoon <laughs> i am gonna film a girl talk a bit later on as well so if you're interested in 
seeing that make sure you subscribe and you'll see that come up soon hopefully after this one i filmed two two videos yesterday filming two today so i'm on a bit of a roll um so then i take darker shades so i kind of mix from the eyn palette i'm taking um cinnamon cinnamon bun um, and then i also mix that in with rustic from the anastasia palette this is like the most basic look ever um i like to take like red tones sometimes and there's really nice shades in here but i just didn't want to do that with this look i wanted to keep it really really neutral um so i'm just mixing those two and i'm taking the peaches and cream pc11 brush which is a little bit flatter and denser just to put that on the outer corner um, and like halfway through my lid and then i just blend it in with the other brush as well <laughs> So I'm going to clean up this a little bit later on with the concealer so don't worry about the fact that it's come down a little bit too low. Um, like I said this isn't a tutorial it's just to kind of get ready with me um, but something always goes wrong so we love that. Okay, and then for my lid shade, I go in with the bronze shade from the Soft Glam palette. Let me try and show you without blinding you. Um, it's this shade here, just the Spark of the Gold shade. And I take the Morphe E10 brush, which is a flat brush, and just pack that on from the inner corner to where we put that darker shade. Okay, and then for eyeliner, I always use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. This one is in black. I really want to get the brown one because I've seen Molly May do brown liner. I think it looks so nice. So I really want to try that out, but I haven't done that yet. So let me know what you guys think. They do do a brown one um, of this, so I should definitely get it and give it a try. Okay, so that is all the shadow and liner on. Um, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit to my brow bone and inner corner. I think I'm gonna take, which one of these for you? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here, which is called Fairy from the Soft Glam palette and put that in my inner corner. Just 
to brighten that off, you can see the difference there. And then I'm going to wipe that off and take the shade Glistening, which is a little bit lighter from the same Soft Glam palette, and just put that under my brow bone. Okay, so that is the eyes pretty much done for now. Obviously, I need to do the um, lower lash line and obviously lashes when we get to it. Um, but I'm going to move on to skin now. So I'm just going to grab my products and then I'll be back. So moving on to skin, I'm going to take my Honey Dew Me Up primer, which I always use. If you watched my natural makeup look, that should have gone up before this. I filmed that one yesterday. Um, I use this literally every time I do my makeup. I used it in that video. I used it in a video back in April where I did a everyday drugstore makeup um, and I just love this. I've been using this for years. It's such a good product. So glowy and hydrating. So literally while I've been getting ready and um, throughout life at the moment, I've been obsessed with Ariana Grande's new album. If any of you are a fan and have been listening to it, let me know what your favourite songs are. My favourites are definitely... My Hair, POV and Just Like Magic. I just think they're really nice songs. Um, I obviously love them all, but <laughs> if I had to pick like three, that would be my top three. And if I like shuffle it and put everything on, I love them. I also really like 34 and 30, 34, 35 or 35, 34. I don't know what order it's in, but I love that one as well. I think they're so good. And like, I just think it's such a good album for her to release right now. I think she's, you know, taking more time, so I really like it. Um, and then moving on to foundation, I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match. I've not used this in ages. I've been using the L'Oreal Water Cream, which if you saw the natural makeup look, I used that. Um, and I was going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation today, but I used that in my last makeup video back in April. So I thought I'd go back to this because I haven't used this in so long. But I love it. I've literally got like 10 shades of this because it's literally my favourite foundation. Um, and this is in the shade 4DW Golden Natural. Um, I'm going to take the Zoeva Buffer Brush. This is 104. It's just like a flat top buffing brush to apply that. So my foundation is now all on and I'm just going to go in with some concealer um, just under my eye, down my nose, chin and forehead and I'm going to use the same concealer that I use in the natural makeup look which is my Too Faced Vanilla Born This Way foundation or oh, sorry concealer, I absolutely love this concealer, um, I think it's like £20 but it's really really good, um, I've got two shades of this, absolutely love it, I just think it's really nice coverage but really natural as well. 
um, I don't put too much on anymore. I used to literally do so much concealer, but it's really full coverage, so you don't need to. A little does go a long way. I'm just going to dot some under here to tidy up the liner. That looks a little bit crazy. nice shade it just brightens up my under eyes so much So now that the concealer is all on, I'm just gonna set that into place with my favorite powder. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This one is in the shade Yellow. Absolutely love this. I've had this for a couple of years now as well, I think. Um, and I stopped using this and went to my Born This Way powder, which is also really nice. Um, it's just a little bit annoying, because like the lid, you have to like just fold it up, if that makes sense. Like it's not, you can't completely take it off. It's got like a protectant bit on it, so it's a little bit annoying tap it out and stuff but it's fine um so i'm just going to pat that on with my peaches and cream pc03 brush just a really nice fluffy brush um, and i just put that under the eyes in the same places that i put the concealer if i was like going out or something i would bake but obviously we're in lockdown so i'm not i'm just going to tap it on because i much prefer that at the moment i haven't baked for such a long time um, I just find it kind of drying, but if I was going like clubbing or something, then that is what I would do. And this yellow shade just obviously helps to brighten up the under eyes again, but it just mattifies it. Again, down the nose. put some of that on the forehead because I don't find my like all over face powder mattifies my forehead enough and my forehead gets quite shiny for some reason so that's good, good to just put over that so then before I powder the rest of my skin I'm going to actually do a little bit of cream contouring I don't do this that often um, but sometimes I like to do it just to add a bit more depth so I'm just using the Revolution Matte Base Concealer this is in the shade C13 and then the Real Techniques Contour Brush just to kind of add a little bit of definition into my cheeks so I just take that directly like onto the brush to kind of warm it up a little bit and then just blend that into my cheekbone if you want like a really nice defined contour look, I find this works the best doing cream and then powder on top. But I don't do this all the time. You can also use cream powder, cream, cream bronzer, sorry, on its own just to kind of make it a little bit more natural. But I do like quite a lot of cheap makeup. I'm not gonna lie. I look a lot more defined um, and then also just around the forehead into the hairline I don't do this like super neatly because obviously I'm going to go in with powder anyway which will tidy it up Annoyingly, my camera stops filming after half an hour, which is really exciting. <laughs> it's really annoying trying to like 
Don't know why it does that, to be honest, but it's fine. We keep rolling. So I'm just going to blend that in a little bit with the Beauty Blender as well, so it's not too harsh. I'm just going to take some under my jawline. powder brush bear with me so i then took my favorite powder which is the mac mineralized skin finish natural this one's in the shade medium tan and i just blend that all over the skin i tend to avoid the areas where i put the other powders like my nose under my eyes all those kind of places i just put it where you know my foundation is So before I finish off my skin, I'm going to do under my eyes. Um, so I'm just going to take this Jessup 234 brush. It's just, you can get these brushes on eBay. They're really, really good as well. I use quite a lot of them to be fair. Um, and I'm just going to take the burnt orange shade that we put all the way through the crease just under my eye. I don't like to do too much under my eyes because they get really like watery if I do too much. Just like that. So it just kind of ties it all together. It's nothing too crazy just ties everything all together I find. Um, so then I'm going to do the rest of my cheeks, my bronzer, blush and highlight. I'm going to do obviously my lashes and my lips once I've done my hair because obviously I find they last the least amount of time so I like to do them after my hair is done. Also I find lashes a little bit annoying sometimes so to try and do my hair which is a struggle anyway when I've got lashes on is really difficult for me. So I'm going to finish off the cheeks and then we'll move on to doing the hair um, which I'm really excited about. But let's finish the makeup first <laughs> okay so for my powder bronzer i'm going to go in with my favorite one which is this i Heart revolution chocolate bar contour palette how cute is that actually looks like chocolate and it smells like chocolate too it smells so yummy um so <laughs> i'm gonna take that with my peaches and cream pc04 brush i think this is just such a nice bronzer brush um, so I'm going to go in with this one first. And then with that, I'm going to use a little bit of the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. This is in the shade Light to Medium. This is just a really nice warm toned Bronzer is like £6 in Superdrug, so it's a really good price. I think that contour palette is £6 as well. They're both really cheap, but honestly, so amazing. I got the chocolate bar palette one in my testing revolution video, if you saw that back in the first lockdown. I absolutely loved it. And then just because I love the glow, I'm going to put a little bit of this Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Glow just over the top of that because I absolutely love having glowy skin. So I'm just going to dust that on top as well. Yeah, I've used like four, bronze, four bronzers, but I love it. Um, and then I'm also just going to go back in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder and just run that underneath where I've done the contour just to kind of tidy it up. And then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous blush palette, which is actually from the Becca X Chloe and Malika collection. This was like last January, almost two years ago now. Um, and this is called Made With Love by Chloe. Um, I'm going to mix the two, br 
the two blushes um, we've got fierce which is a radiant blush and then fabulosity which is also a radiant blush as well i just mix the two because i find this one is gorgeous when i haven't got a tan but when i do it's a little bit light um so i just mix the two of those together and again these are really nice to give you a really nice glow I've actually never tried the highlighter in this palette, probably should. I, mean, I don't know why I'm putting glowy blush on when I've literally got spots all over my face, but you know, we move. So then I'm going to go in with some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've literally used this for years as well. I also really like the Chill Setting Spray, which is really good for dry skin. Um, but the All Nighter one just locks everything into place. I'm just going to do this because yesterday I went over it with my Beauty Blender, which I usually do do. But it took off a chunk of my blush so I'm not gonna even bother trying that today okay so for highlighter I'm gonna take the MAC Oh Darling which I literally used to use years ago and I've fallen back in love with again I again use this in my natural makeup look as well but I'm also going to use a little bit of the Dole Light Duo in Champagne Supernova I've got both of the duos that they've done um, but this one works for me a bit more when I'm tanned because it's just a little bit more gold so I'm gonna do both of those starting with the MAC one I love a golden glowy highlight anyway, but when I'm going out for a date night or something, it's even more important. <laughs> I don't always do it but recently I've been doing nose contour a bit more not because I have an issue with my nose but like this side is a little bit more wonky compared to this side um, and I just feel like it pulls it all together but I've forgotten to do it so I'm just going to skip that because it's really not that important <laughs> um, and I don't want to go back now I've done the highlighter and stuff so sorry about that and um, I'm just going to go over the top of that with the champagne supernova duo I just kind of mix them both together dull beauty highlighters are literally insane I think the only one I haven't tried is the Pretty Little Glow, so let me know if you've tried that. Look at that. I'm sorry if this is too much for anyone, but I absolutely just love dousing myself in highlighter. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stop the makeup there. I obviously need to do my mascara, lashes and lips, but I'm going to do my hair first and show you guys that. And then I'll come back to finish off the makeup once that is done. Right, so I'm not going to be filming the whole thing of this because it takes me so long. Um, and I'm not that good at it. So <laughs> if you're looking for like a hair extension tutorial, I'm not the girl to watch. <laughs> um, it takes me so long. I really can't do my hair. Like I'm really bad at it. Um, and obviously I can't see the back of my head. So to put the extensions in, I do find a little bit tricky. Um, but I'm just going to show you a first couple of bits then I'll stop and like do most of it and then I'll show you the end because I'm just, I'm not the best at it, I'm not the neatest at it, I don't want to bore you guys to tears. Um, but I use the Trevor Sorby um, wand, I don't know what it's called, but it's got three different heads to it. Heads? I don't know. It's got one that's like bobbly and then it's got one that's thicker to smaller and this is the thicker one. I actually had never used this until I used it for the date night that josh and i went on and it actually worked out really really nicely it's a lot quicker than the other one because it does obviously thicker big bouncy curls uh, if you can see all this hair over here <laughs> these are my extensions i've just straightened them because they were obviously still a bit curly from when i last used them a little bit messy as well now these are from foxy locks i'm not sure what they're called i think they're called the luxurious extensions and i'll leave them linked down below obviously and also i'll tag them over on my instagram which i have done but i'll tag them um, in my youtube section so you can go and see 
they do kind of match my hair they're a little bit warmer than my hair is at the moment um but once it's all in they kind of blend together quite nicely um and yeah they're really nice they are they are quite expensive they're about 250 pounds but they are gorgeous and they're 26 inches because obviously i do have really long hair anyway but i hate my own hair when it's curled because it's not that thick so it just looks really straggly whereas this just really thickens it up um so there's a five um five clip strand then you get two fours a three hang on let me tell you the right thing oh no so there's a five a four a three two twos and then a, and then two ones I don't always get all of them in because it can be a little bit tricky because I don't have that much hair. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go with it. I've got these clips, which probably aren't the best ones. I like the proper dial clips, but I just roll with them. Um, I love using this comb, which is the Beauty Works Molly May wide tooth comb, which is a little bit easier to work with. Um, obviously, to part the hair, I do use my pin tail comb. This is just from Primark. I'm a little bit nervous because my curler is just there. I don't want to like for my leg which has happened before um but i just heat it up to about 190 degrees it's on an automatic setting of 180 but i put it at 190 just because my hair needs to hold it a bit more um i'm watching olivia meets her match on my ipad i've not watched it before so i thought i'd put it on while i do this because it's quite a long process last time it took me about 45 minutes to an hour i want to say um but yeah, so I'm going to just part it just above my ear. I find this bit the hardest bit, like actually parting the hair and getting the extensions in. Once they're in, curling it is quite easy. Um, and once I get going, it's a little bit easier. So when I get, I'm going to do like the first layer with you and then I'll turn off the camera and do the rest of the hair. Then I'll come back when I'm doing the top bits of my hair, um, just because it's probably the best bits to show you. But, yeah, I just kind of drag bits back and I just feel behind to make sure I can still, you know, feel the line. The first time I ever used these extensions, my hairdresser did it for me, so <laughs> that was a little bit easier, but... Now, I have used them a few more times. I used them back in the first lockdown. I did the Mermaid Waves with the Molly May Waver Kit, which that was so popular over on my Instagram. Um, why is that okay? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip my hair up. Obviously, I don't do this super neatly because there's literally no point. But I just make sure that it's not going to fall and cover the bit that I'm trying to do, if that makes sense. So I just put a couple of clips and obviously at the start I need to do a couple of clips because it's literally the majority of my hair. And then I'm going to start with the five clip one, I think. I'm just going to check that it's I've got enough gaps there to put it in. Um, so... I just start with the middle clip and put that... Also, I'm sorry you can see literally everything on my bed right now. Um, start with the middle clip. I'm going to do the four first. I think last time I actually did the four first and then the five because there's not as much room around by my ears. So I'm going to start with the four. So, I mean, it's all trial and error. Some days it goes perfect, the other days it just doesn't. If you're someone that wears extensions every day, you're a hero. I remember at school when girls would literally do that and I just... That's exhausting. I wore these extensions for Christmas as well last year, but I just straightened my hair. They're just, they can get quite heavy, so I don't like to wear them all day. I think they're about 400 grams or something ridiculous. Okay, that's a bit better, that's more comfortable. So I've gone with the four, and I just part it in the middle. So I've got half and half, and you can just kind of, you can still obviously see my hair there, but once you've got them all in, it's not as obvious. Uh, and now I'm just going to comb through to make sure that they blend in with my hair, and there's that, there's no knots. Okay, 
and then because we're at the bottom of my hair and there's not so much hair I just kind of split these into two as I get higher up I do tend to do three bits um, on each side but at the bottom it's not so deep so I'm just gonna pull that bit to the side and start with the back piece on the right hand side of my head just grab the wand very carefully wrap my hair around it And then I hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then, oh, put that out. I didn't put that out in the best way, but if you just kind of spin it, then it goes a little bit neater, as you can see. I tend, I tend to don't do them as neat on the bottom bits because it all bends in eventually so yeah you can just see how bouncy that curl is see they're just really nice loose curls I absolutely love them um, and then I'm going to do the other side starting with the back half again I probably should do these in three bits but for the very very bottom bits I don't worry that much because obviously that's the bits that you see the less the least the less I'm finding this a little bit more tricky than last time as well because I'm sat on my bed whereas last time I sat on a stool and I used my mirror in my wardrobe. I'm just using my tiny mirror here so it's a little bit harder. see with this look I don't really care about which way I curl I mean I don't really ever pay attention to which way I curl anyway I'm really not the best at doing hair <laughs> not gonna lie I studied hair and beauty at school but I just have no idea I'm just doing my own hair it's ridiculous there you go that's a little bit better so you can see the left side's gone so much better than the right and then once they're done I just kind of push them to the back um but while I try and get some more hair down, I'll leave them on the front, if that makes sense. So I'm going to continue doing my head and putting more extensions in and just curling through. I just kind of take little sections, add the bits, curl that. I find it easier. I once did put them all in and then do my hair, but it just was ridiculous and it was too hard to do. Um, so I'm going to go through and do that. Then once I get to the top layer, I will show you how I finish it off. As you can see, I've pretty much done this whole side of my head. I did obviously the little sections and then... When I got to the top bit, I just did two lots of this side and I thought I can finish it off with the other side with you guys. Um, so I've literally just got this bit on the right side of my head to finish off. Um, I didn't put the five extension in in the end, um, but I've just got a two and a one to put in on the right hand side to match it up. It's looking all right. I mean, it's not as good as last time went, but that's fine because I'm not actually going anywhere today. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this down. Hold on to that. Um, brush through it. Just gonna make sure that's covering the clips at the back because before I don't think it was, but it is now, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna take a section again, the other side, um, and then I'm just gonna clip in the two clip extension. Okay. So again, I'm going to take that probably into three, three and a half, three. Now actually this bit we'll just do in two sections and then the top bit I'll do in three sections. I don't know though, because that feels really thick then I feel like if I do it in three, it's not enough. Okay, I'm going to do three, why not?
so there we go all the hair is now curled it looks a little bit crazy um but once i've done the rest of my makeup then i will i don't like to like comb through it too much because i like them to stay in the photos and stuff so i'm just going to comb through the end um this one is that all right yeah okay so that is all the hair in obviously i haven't done that one but that's fine it's in and curled so that is how it looks i absolutely love it i feel like it makes me look even more blonde um <laughs> but yeah so this bit should have gone away from my face but i haven't done that so sorry about it any hair people don't come for me i'm just going to turn my curlers off before i get burnt um but yeah i feel like all my hair is covered so that's good so yeah that is the extensions in uh, and then next i'm just going to do my lashes and my lips and then we are all done so obviously it's a little bit tricky to put lashes on once your hair is done but i just find it the best way for me to do it um so i'm going to be using the tatty lashes tl10 lashes i'll leave everything linked obviously down below i've got them ready so i can't like show you in the box um i'm just going to do my mascara first i do my mascara on like one eye then put the glue on for that lash and then i'll do the mascara for the other eye if that makes sense um, <laughs> i'm going to do my left eye first i think because it always goes wrong so i've got some wipes ready i've got my lash applicator from false eyelashes if i need to use it and i've also got some tweezers I tend to use my fingers but sometimes i need to obviously use something else i also put in my duo lash glue on with a brush because it gets really like gloopy otherwise so i just find that the best way for me to do it um a bit weird i know but that's just what i do so i'm going to start with curling my eyelash with the primark lash curler I apologise for any bits you can't see here because obviously it's a little bit tricky to do. My camera's also running out of battery, so that's really fun. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs mascara. I'm not sure what this is called. Velvet Noir mascara. This is definitely the best mascara I've ever used. Um, the Revolution... The Mascara Revolution is a pretty good dupe for it, but nothing will ever come close, to be honest. Obviously, if I'm not doing crazy hair, then I do do my lashes when I do the rest of my makeup, but yeah. So these, like I said, are the Tattoo Lashes TL10s. I have worn them once before. I feel like once you've worn a pair of lashes, it's so much easier to get them on. So I thought I'd just use these. Absolutely love them. I just kind of do this to bend the lash band to make sure it's going to fit on my eye properly. Um, and then I'm going to pop some glue on. Like I said, I use the duo lash glue. This is the dark band colour, just because then it blends in with my eyeliner. And I just put a little bit of glue on my the Bedellium Tools brush. It's an eyeliner brush, but I just use that. I feel like so much comes out and it just literally ruins my lashes. It just drips down the band, so I just do it like this now. One of like the key errors, I used to always put my glue on and then I will just put my lashes straight on, which I don't know why I did that because they would just never stick. So leave them to get tacky for a little bit. I don't know why I'm giving you tips, like this is not a tutorial, it's just me getting ready. But I really miss like getting ready with people, like I never really used to do that, so I don't know why I'm saying it, but like have this urge to like go out for drinks and get ready of a girl <laughs> since lockdown i've just been like oh. like me and josh are really good friends with his friend and his girlfriend ben and anna hey guys if you happen to be watching um and i really want to like go out with them for like a night away and then like me and anna could get ready that would just be amazing so I'm going to leave that lash to get a little bit tacky and while I'm waiting for that I'm going to curl the other eyelash and put the mascara on. I feel like my lashes make such a difference when I just wear mascara but I'm not going crazy. Today. 
today for this mascara because I don't need it. It's just to cut my lashes. Okay, and then I'm just going to get my tools ready. Okay, so this, like I said, is my left eyelash first. Just because my left eye always goes wrong, so I feel like if I start with it, it's, you know, going to change that. <laughs> I'm not sure what lipstick to wear today either. So I start just by placing it on the eye and then make sure the middle is where you want it to be and then get the corners to stick. The inner corner is the worst one for me. It never stays where I want it to stay. And then while that is drying, I'm gonna do, ooh, my lower lash mascara on my left eye and for that I just use the covergirl clump crusher it's just got the nice angled like curved ones it's a little bit easier to do on the lower lash line okay so just for purposes you can see the difference there of lashes versus no lashes it's actually crazy these ones are really long and fluffy i want to get some from ebay because i've seen loads of people wear really nice ones from ebay and they're so cheap so i might get some let me know if i want to do like an ebay testing i did an ebay testing wigs a couple of years ago and you guys loved that so yeah let me know what kind of things you'd like to see me test i was going to do a testing like fake designer items but i'm not sure if you guys would like that so let me know what you'd like to see okay Okay, I'm just going to go in for the girl. So that is the lash on, hopefully. I'm not too sure, again, it feels a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I think the inner corner's a bit fucked. You see that, it's a little bit annoying, but. Honestly, people like to make so much noise. It's really enjoyable. Um, again, going in with the lower lash mascara. So my favourite lip combo at the moment is definitely the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner and the MAC Honey Love Lipstick. I just love these together. It is a matte lipstick, but just such a lovely nude combo. So I'm just going to outline my lips first with the lip liner. that is the lip liner on and then just going in with the lipstick which is honey love So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Uh, I'm just going to show you the bottom of the hair because it is so long. And it's just so stunning. Let me know what you guys prefer to pair my hair 
curled or straightened. I didn't do as good of a job with the curls did last time, so I'm sorry about that. But, you know, last time was a little bit more important because it was date night, whereas tonight it's just lockdown. So, you know, sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready of me. I'm sure it's going to be like the longest video in the world but i hope you enjoyed it anyway let me know which one you preferred either this one or the one that i did before it's like a natural balm um because they're very different <laughs> um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to subscribe below as well and i'll see you all in the next video